Welcome to Humming Punks with me and Hurst. And me, Jimmy Watkins. Each week we're going to be reviewing a different album as selected by our guest with just three words. It's a bit of a challenge, it's going to be tough, it's going to be fun, it's going to be random, and there might be the odd swear word. Yeah, so if there are any children listening, make sure they already know the swear words in advance. Good advice. Take care, sit back, relax and enjoy. Oh, hello, me old cocker. Hello, me old uh, <laughs> <high> cocker. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the latest edition the latest of one, Humming yeah. Punks. How are we doing? How are you doing, Jimmy? I am fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm feeling good. I feel like I've uh, harnessed all sides of my personality and gathered them into one coherent person for this chat today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, That's um, split personality, that is. More than that, it's like my personality is a bag of rice and someone's dropped me on the floor recently and I've just been scooped back up into and a I, little funnel and reassembled as a whole. It's been, um, for, for the listeners um, here, we, we would have noticed we didn't do one last week. We said we would. I went on holiday. You went on holiday. There's yeah. going to be a full... Um, Hursty holiday edition. We're gonna. That's like <laughs> the review. We're gonna do a full Hursty holiday. But we had promised that we were gonna do uh, one last week, um, but we didn't because your bag of rice was all over the place <laughs> last week. People uh, probably think it was me not being bothered after holiday, but I was ready to go. Yeah, yeah you were good. You... I was like a raging risotto. I was just all over. <laughs> a raging risotto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. It feels like again a couple of weeks since we spoke. It has been. How was your holiday, by the way? So I've got so much to tell you about. Yeah. Me. I've got I've got so much hopefully solid content. Come um, on then. To give you some to give you some uh uh to whet your appetite. I'm oh, wet my say, appetite with solid content. That's the name, gonna, that's the name of gonna, my sex yeah. tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one one name. Rod Stewart. That's it. I know. Uh, well, you saw him. Uh, I'm just gonna build up to it. I've got a whole story that I'm gonna go <laughs> okay. through. So, um, but there's a process to be followed, Jim. I think let's get people um, with the lyrics to start with. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 I want people to mull this over, and then I'm gonna give you full Hursty holiday review. Flipping act. The full trip like, advisor. Yeah, like the... Oh, trip it! By the way, they've taken them down. I know, I saw a comment on Twitter yesterday, one of the running punks. Oh, uh, what was it? Yeah, he said that uh, I'm, I'm gutted your comment, the, the bad reviews have been taken down, but also oh. not. Also not gutted. <laughs> Those reviews were wild, I read them. I read them Did after you read that. Them? Yeah, 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 absolutely wild. Uh, absolutely wild, were they? Absolutely. I mean, uh, hopefully other people read them, but... Um, yeah, someone <laughs> someone was clearly intoxicated and bored. Um, but yeah, what uh, can uh, you be bored when you're drunk? Oh well, my, clear, imagine being bored, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> bored. <laughs> I'm so drunk, I'm bored. <laughs> I, I still can't get my head around the point where you think <laughs> I've I've trolled every other social media platform. I'm going for TripAdvisor. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Not TripAdvisor, Trustpilot. I'm Trust going pilot, for Trustpilot. Yeah, I'm going for it. I mean, that's awful. Um, what a loser. Screw yeah. those guys. Let's talk about fun stuff. Right, let's talk about fun stuff. Um, but yeah, let, well, let, listen, let's do the lyrics. Yeah. Then Hursty's Holiday. I've got to tell you about a dream that I had the other night, which it's was all about amazing. You today. Literally, it's all about me. Oh, right. Literally, um, you're just a bag of risotto. <laughs> so this is... Yeah. <laughs> this is all about... Hursty's Hummingbird Holidays. That's Fantastic. what we're calling it now. I can't wait. Um, yeah, mate, I think, um, I think you're going to be be pleasantly surprised. All right, yeah, lay it on me. Um, well, listen, everybody, it's good to be back. I'm giddy with excitement to be back. I, I am. I feel like, <laughs> um, I feel like I've, I've been out of the loop. I'm delivering a training course today, and the poor people on the course this morning, they probably don't know what's going on. My words are all over the place. I'm, I'm a giddy mess yeah. of um, excitement uh, so anyway for all of those listening we know this the five ways of well-being let's set let's set some kind of guidance here Jimmy otherwise we'll be all over the show this is our shop basically we have to build our shop <laughs> And then we can be the shopkeepers behind there talking nonsense to people as they come into the shop. Yeah, we, so we do that. Let's yeah, build I mean, our shop. 
But the, the shop, we're going to connect, as always. The five ways of well-being, we're going to connect. And boy, are we going to connect today, Jimmy. Yeah. We've got lo- I mean, I hadn't even thought then. We've got to talk about the supermarket we're opening as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, Pe- we've got so really much. People really embrace that. We got so much content. Shampoo. Uh oh, we're in trouble <laughs> <laughs> for the hair. The hair aisle is going to be playing shampoo. Why would I um, ever go down there? Why would I no, ever go down there? Yeah, I know. I feel um, like that's a personal. So we're going to connect. We're going to connect. We're yeah. going to be active as always. Active in our engagement today. Um, mm. Maybe, maybe I've got a day off from the gym today, so I'm not going to be active today. But uh, I'm sure you've been for a run. I went for a run this morning. Yeah. Of course you did. Yeah. Of course you did. Lovely. We're going to learn. <laughs> My boy, we're going to learn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna learn. Uh, we're gonna give. I think already. I'm. I'm giving off lots of energy. I think, you are. You know, yeah. I think you feel. Uh, do you feel a bit like you've been hit by a a, a train? No, I feel energy? good. I'm embracing your energy this morning. I've just had a very strong coffee. Have so you? yes, I will be um, logging on to the same brain waves as you in about three minutes' time. So I watch out. I'm coming for Absolutely you. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, mate. And then finally, we're going to take notice, which is the most mm. important part of this. The clues for the lyrics. Come on. We're going to have to give away this mattress at some point, mm. but um, we're going to give away lots of clues for the lyrics. Okay. Um, now, the album we were given to review this week was a brand new album. It was. I, yeah. I told um, with trying to find lyrics from a 2021 <sighs> album. I thought, Do you know what? Ugh. I'm just going to pick my favourite lyrics of all time. Oh, what? All right. Yeah. Okay. Have you been swatting up on all 2021 albums? Yes. I did wow. actually have a look because I knew this was coming. I thought, what, what albums have been out this year then? Yeah, I was like, oh, I've run to most of the good albums this year, so I might know it. Oh, do, there, you know, yeah. do you feel like I'm always one step ahead of you? Like I feel I like know... you're more than that. I feel, yeah. I, feel like, I feel like you're the, the cop and the robber in one. Yeah. And I'm just a bystander. Well, I thought... I thought I don't want to go for a 2021, so I decided to go for the album. Sorry, a song that is one of my all-time favourites. Literally one of my all-time favourites. Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby, yeah, Yeah. Mr. Blobby. Um, So we're going to be lots of clues um, around this. Okay. (gasps) I also need to talk to you about my new shed. Built a shed in the week. (laughs) Unbelievable. Um, I got so many good things to talk to you about. So. Let's get going with these lyrics. Come All on, you listeners at home. This is <clears throat> this is really important for you. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> are you ready? I am. It's from 1998. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Your heyday of music. Yeah, I was kind of digging it then. Yeah, I was well into it. Okay. I think that these are pretty good. Mm, I think <laughs> you, you, you didn't write these. them. You didn't write them. <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> okay right i've got to try and say this about singing it because this is going to be difficult so everyone at home brace yourselves get ready here we go <clears throat> there are things that i regret like being called a nervous wreck okay and working up another sweat mm-hmm. for you how can there's you, nothing that what, I can do. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's what, nothing? That I can do for counterparts oh, right. and bleeding hearts. Oh, God. And all the things that fall apart for you. Uh, I don't keep my secrets there. Are you still going? <clears throat> I hide them everywhere. I don't keep... How can you hide them everywhere? Like, come on. Don't keep my secrets there. How can you how can you regret oh. someone calling you something? Oh, that doesn't make man. sense. Now that that was the hardest lyrics I've had to read out because I just wanted to sing it. Yeah. I one of my no literally idea. one of my favourite songs ever. The things I regret like being called a nervous <laughs> wreck. I, I can hear you like singing it. It's what? beautiful. It is okay. beautiful. Okay. So I have no listeners, idea. Listeners at home, I'm sure they're all shouting, um, shouting their answers. Yeah, but they're not me, are they? They're not you. It's they'll easy. You. It's easy when you're not me. They'll never be you, Jimmy. That's what makes this game so hard, just being me. you got a flask there. What's in your flask? Tell me it's a sausage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Tell actually... About... Well, I got confused about putting a sausage in a flask. I, I made a sausage smoothie. That's what I thought you meant. You were drinking... <laughs> li- no, it's, 
It's just water. Genius pulled out a flask. Those of you that don't know, mm. get involved. So, um, right, we've set we've set the shop stall. We've put it out there. there we we are. Get people the lyrics. We're going to come to the album. Come and get later. your lyrics. Come and get your lyrics. Line if you're up. for the mattress. Line up, line up. Lyrics. Um, chase those lyrics, guys. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I built a shed the other wow. day. If for those people that want to know, um, I posted it on my social media page. I'm proper I haven't adults seen it. now. I'm sorry. Do you, do you build a shed from the inside? I've always wondered. Do you stand inside here while you build it? Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes, I did stand inside That's it. pretty cool. I that, did it with that's my dad. made me want to build a shed, the fact that I can be inside here while I'm building it. Absolutely. Mm. It's a brilliant shed. It is... <laughs> I'd say it's in the top... I'd say it's number seven. What? I'd say it's number what? seven. Number what? seven of my top ten sheds. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Number oh. seven of my top oh. number seven of my top You want ten me to ask sheds. you what the number one shed is now, don't you? That's what that is. That's what that yep. is. What's well, your number well, one shed know. then? Number one shed is um Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's too many options. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I can't think so about my best shed. Talk to me about how the supermarket went. So, because I mm. we dropped the, the supermarket podcast um, yeah. when I was on holiday. What's the feedback been like? Oh, we you know. Much? Yeah, but, like, people send me stuff on social media. I forget it as soon as I put my phone down. So, um, I, I did, did, like, the shampoo one. Yeah, someone suggested shampoo. Um I can't remember. I can't remember, but there were uh, suggestions. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then, listen. Let me talk to you about about my holiday. Let okay. Me talk to you about because I mean you haven't noticed how tanned I am. You are really is there, tanned. Is there a reason why you've not? Is it? Is it? So, uh, wow, what a lovely holiday. I, I would say to everybody right now, if you can, uh, because I think today uh, or last week for this going out, the yeah. government might be announcing some new green. Uh, countries yeah i would say if you are able to go away this is just my opinion okay uh if you're able to go away do it because yeah. tourism needs it um there was some poor you know we, we we were in touristy places and they're desperate just for you to buy anything like buy a postcard any money <laughs> These, you forget how hard yeah tourism's been hit by yeah. it and um yeah it was it was really quite sad to see and yeah obviously this country's affected as well but we've got to get back to it at some point right yeah We've got to get back to it at some point. But the the top tip that I want to say, if you are going away, make sure you understand how to get back into the country. <laughs> because, because I don't think, uh, I think, so this is really important, listeners. If you're going away, um, let me tell you now, you have to have a test when you're abroad as well. Yeah. To come back into England. Like an IQ test to make sure you're thick enough to come back. <laughs> You've got to have a test to come back in. Not everybody knows this. So mm. when we were coming home from Portugal, there were so many people stuck at the airport that couldn't come home because they hadn't had a COVID test in Portugal. Really? Yes, yeah, so you've got to have it three days before you come back. Make sure you keep, would, keep plenty of saliva in your mouth because that test keep, could happen at any moment. No, 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 no. There what? is zero mouth entry. Oh, really? Oh, Jimmy. I'm still suffering from it now. So uh, we... we, we <laughs> I wish I wish it had been that, mate. I right. wish. <laughs> so, in the UK, when you have the test, you have it in your back of your throat and then up your nostrils, yeah? Bup, yeah. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah. So, we went to this place to go and have our test before we come home. And it was uh, Brits abroad, a classic. Loads of Brits queued up down the street to go through this tent to have this mobile testing. So, as many people didn't have it done, loads of people did. And you sit there and the women uh, and men who are administering the tests are all in full protective clothing like bio suits yeah and they said oh, have you ever had a test before I said yeah I've had one they go right um, we're not going to be putting the uh, what do you call it swab uh, swab I'd we're not going to be swab. putting the swab in your mouth it's double nostrils double dipping in the nostrils <laughs> uh, okay they said now listen if I hurt you raise your hand and you're like yeah alright what are you going to do oh my god Literally, she tickled the back of my eyeball. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I've never known anything. So she was like, head back, in. And I swear, wow. I mean, I swear, 
three inches it felt like I swear I felt it on my eyeball wow wiggling around and then out with that straight into the other one just as deep I, the honestly, same one the same the same swab same as swab, well oh, both dirty <laughs> double dipping that's filthy double dipping she could have licked um, it first did she spit oh. up your she spit up your nose first to get it already <laughs> Oh my god. Jimmy, I've never felt such pain in my life. And everyone what's funny is so my wife followed me after and as you, I went outside after it was done. Yeah. And you're watching the people come out, streams of tears coming down your face, just tears <laughs> everywhere. And uh you can't see anything after. And um Oh so much oh, pain. Amazing. So much pain. So guys, if you're going abroad, you've got to get a test before you come back into the UK. Maybe and practice also, that before you go abroad as well. Stick stuff up your nose before you go. Mm. Stick, a, stick all sorts up there pens forks stick knives whatever you can just get some practice nose. done it's got to be done and you've got mm. to uh, then yeah. fill out a form uh, <laughs> when you can't see <laughs> <laughs> it's right. like the crypt, it's the Krypton factor fill this form <laughs> out now I can't see oh I got a three inch thing up my nostril honestly it was but you've got to fill in a form to come back into the UK and on that form it needs a code um, to show that you've bought a test for when you get back in the UK. Mate, it's so, so Oh, my word. It's so complicated. But I would say, you know, if you can go, if you've got the time, if you've got the money, if yeah. you... Because um, everywhere was super safe. The airline was super safe. Everything was hygienic. Just, you know, if you can go and stand in a pub in some dirty town in the UK, you can yeah. get on a plane. Um, yeah. That's my humble opinion. So yeah, uh, it was lovely. But let me tell you about where we stayed. We stayed in a lovely hotel because it was just my wife and I celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary. Oh yeah. Which was meant to be last year, but we rolled it over because last year no one could go anywhere. Yeah, nice. So we stayed, we stayed in a lovely hotel and we met some amazing people when we were there. And we met a lovely couple. Um, they might listen, but they might not. I mean, they might listen to this. Um... Graham and Jackie. Uh, Classic. Lovely. Great names. Yes. Great names. Great names. Now, um, I, I, I became aware of Graham and Jackie before we spoke to them. <laughs> what? what? Because, like some psychic message. Oh, no. Someone was, downstairs uh, called Graham. Yeah, well, no, not quite that. It was simpler than that. I saw them. Mm. I saw them before we spoke. And the reason why it stood out is because... Um, when I saw Graham... Oh, here we go. I thought, oh my God, there's Rod Stewart. There's Rod Stewart, like, yeah. I thought there's Rod Stewart. Yeah. And I'm sure Graham's had this many times before. When there's Rod Stewart... Why, is, then... he, why is he in a two-star hotel in Portugal? What's going on? <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Um, so I saw it and I was like, oh, it's Rod Stewart. And then I was like, oh, no, it's not. Don't be silly. It's just a guy that looks like Rod Stewart. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, they was dressed nicely at dinner and he had, and he had um, yeah, it, it, I was like, that's what's Joe. <laughs> so the next day, we're lounging around the pool. Um, so there was just lots of lounging involved. Oh, lounging yeah. around the pool. And um, mm. Rod Stewart looked like Graham yeah. came past and he was wearing a pair of swimming trunks that I also own. And by this point, <laughs> I was, by this point, I was uh, two or three days deep into <laughs> the holiday of yeah. just my wife and I so I was gagging to talk to someone I was like you know <laughs> no like my, my wife and I we'd, we'd had all the conversation but you know when it is a few days in you're like and she knows this she said Ian I can tell you've not spoken 10 to years of while. marriage but then 3 yeah. days on holiday was enough yeah so as he walks along I said oh mm, I, I, almost wore the, I almost wore them shorts today that would have been awkward you know like bit of, yeah like, classic he was like, classic <laughs> Graham was clearly like-minded to me and loved to chat. So then he came and spent about half hour stood of us chatting over his cocktail, my cocktail. And we were just, and we, it was beautiful. We we spoke a lot. I learned what he did. I told him a bit about what I did, and yeah. um, we shared some common ground. And 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 great. Off he, off he went. Yeah. The next morning, uh, laying by the pool again, Graham's <laughs> wife. Graham's wife comes over. She's like, "Hey, doing? Like, yeah, good." She goes, "You never guess what." What? He said, you never guess who's just checked in. Who? The real Rod Stewart. You're kidding! No, what? I'm not. You're kidding! So not only did what? we have a Rod Stewart lookalike, <laughs> no. but we had the real Rod Stewart and Penny Lancaster. No the real Rod way. Stewart and Penny Lancaster. Yes, way. That's yes, amazing. Way. Where That's in the crazy. world would you have a lookalike? Um, so yeah, so we had the real Rod Stewart. Um, I don't think I don't think lookalikes are confined um, confined to certain parts of the world. I think it can happen anywhere. 
<laughs> Where in the world would you have a look like? Oh, funny you should mention that. There's actually a city yeah. full of them. Especially no, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, being on, when does anyone go on holiday and not only think they've got a Rod Stewart lookalike, but then also are joined by the that real is Rod crazy. Stewart? Did they meet yeah. each other? Did they meet each other? I don't know if they did. We left before Graham did, so I'm sure they probably they might have done after. Wow. Um, so yeah, we had Penny Lancaster, Rod Stewart staying with us as well. Um, yeah, great, great time. That it is why I love that. Um, I've got a hotel story. Oh, go for it. <laughs> It's not as glamorous as yours, but okay. I, <laughs> I stayed up in Sale in Manchester for a few nights doing this film, and they put me up in this hotel. <laughs> You're just going to laugh. It was a too strange hotel. It was really strange. It's and, like 40 Towers. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, checked in, uh, and it, it was raining really heavily, and I checked in, and I was like all a bit like, oh my God, I'm soaking, what's going on? And there was this lovely guy behind reception, and I think he was just like, he was laughing at me. Um... I don't know why, but he's just like the. He, he looked at me and started laughing. So I was like, you know, fair enough. I can't blame the guy. I, I obviously a funny looking man. Yeah. And then he said, um, "Oh, will you be using the internet while you're here?" I was like, "I, I probably will. Yeah, yeah, I probably of will. Course you, of course I'm, you will. Gina. I'm here for a few will. nights. Yeah, yeah, I probably will." And he's like, "Oh, let me just go check which room has got the strongest internet signal for you." I was like, "All right, no worries." So he disappeared for like 20 minutes, right? <laughs> and he came back. I found a really uh, a room with really good internet signal, so you can stay in there. It's like, great. Like, you know, you don't have to, but fine. And then he's like, actually, would you be watching the TV? I was like, ah, I, pro- I probably will watch the TV, yeah. <laughs> ah, the room that's got the good internet hasn't got a remote control. I was like, fine. <laughs> fine. I've been in reception for half hours, so okay, wet. It's fine. I'll just go to my room. <laughs> like, just don't worry about it. I don't need a remote. So... Can I just intervene here? If it's got really good internet, you could just watch the TV on the internet. I know, but I was just being polite. I was like, yeah, I'll probably watch TV. So I went to my room and then I unpacked my bag. I was like, oh my God, I forgot my shower gel. So I went to the shop to get shower gel. And I came back and I carried on unpacking. And I was like, I forgot my toothpaste. So I went back to a (laughs) shop to get toothpaste. On the third trip to the shop, I said to the guy, because he was just looking at me leaving, coming and going all the time. I said, oh, I'm going to the shop. Do you want anything? Like, just being you polite. You said that to him? Yeah, just being polite. Like, do you want anything? <laughs> he gave me a shopping list. <laughs> he asked me. <laughs> Why would you ask? Like, receptionist. It was just funny. I was, he was like, all right, everything okay? He was like, is everything okay? Because you've been here and then you've, you've, you've left like three times. You keep coming back with one night done from the shop. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I just, oh, I haven't been away much because of COVID. So I'm just, oh, you know, I'm all over the shop, really. I don't know what I've got in my bag. And then next time I went, I was like, I'm all good. I'm going back to the shop. Do you want anything? May as well. I'm, this seems to be what I'm doing yeah, for a yeah, night. Yeah. Going back from the shop. Do you want anything? He's like, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, could you get me some sweets? I was like, right, I'll get you some sweets. <laughs> So he wrote down like his favourite sweets and then he asked me to get a few little oh, oh could you get me like a loaf of bread? I was like, yeah, I'll get you a loaf of bread. Jimmy, no, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. making so this up. I didn't know I'm telling him. So I did, I bought like a little bag's worth of supplies for this guy and just gave it to him. No, he didn't give me any money, nothing. He was like, thank you. And that was it. And I was like, uh Oh my god. Yeah, all right, all right no worries. <laughs> That is amazing. Yeah. That is such amazing. You've just trumped. You've trumped Ronald. Um, you've tra- trumped. <laughs> you went to Portugal. I met Rod Stewart. I went to yeah. sale. I went to sale and bought the guy behind reception his weekly shop. How, how old was he? Uh, he was quite young. Like, I think he was maybe like thirty. Thirty. This little little funny um, Indian guy. Like he was just super funny. It just. I, I don't know, just something about him. That Did you exchange numbers? No, I didn't. No, I didn't even, yeah. like, no. I just left. Slept in the street. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that. That's I fantastic. Know. I know. And then, because it was like, we were shooting this short film, so we were meeting a lot of new people for the first time in work, and that was just my icebreaker with everybody. That Unbelievable. Never guessed what I did last night in the hotel on my own. Do you think... Um, you 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 encourage this kind of thing like 100%. I still can't get my I still can't get my head around. You're blaming me, you, and you. You're blaming me. Yeah, no, well, I don't mean encourage it, but I, yeah. I, I mean I still can't get my head around the time you sh- shared the story. Although I don't know if this story ever got 
Um, it did then because our podcast because didn't the come podcast out. didn't come out. No. Oh, let's tell it now. So there was a podcast that we filmed um, a, what ages ago now, didn't we, Jimmy? With yeah, a guest, and unfortunately uh, the sound didn't work. No. But in that story, in that podcast, you shared a story which to this day still blows my mind. It haunts uh, me. It haunts me to this day. But now that you've just shared the story about how you. Um, the man at the shop his weekly shopping I think that there must be this aura around you that mm. just makes weird things happen I think it does I think I kind of bend space and time around me yeah tell everyone what happened so I was out running this was months ago now no, months ago now months yeah. I was out running and uh, for some reason I should add this in I crossed the road where I never usually do that yeah. is quite a key part in a story. I just yeah. randomly went across the road here. Whereas yeah. in the past, for the past four years since I've lived here, I've always gone down on the same side of the pavement, but I crossed Strange. the road. And then this, I'm going to say it was a Toyota Corolla. It was like a white car, mm. drove mm. into a little brick wall. It was only a little yeah. brick wall. Maybe How like high? knee high? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say as high as my knee. <laughs> and uh, it drove into it and a few bricks fell off the top. And then yeah. the instant of impact, like when the bricks fell on the road, yeah. these guys ran out of an Indian takeaway across the road and sp- with a bucket of cement and fixed the wall. <laughs> I, can't, I still don't understand what it means. What does it mean? <laughs> like, why does that happen? They weren't just guys, it was the chef. It was the chef, he had his chef overalls on <laughs> and he had a bucket with cement in it. And then I was just... Like, I carried on running and I kept thinking, why has the chef in an Indian takeaway got a bucket of cement with him? What's, like, what's going in the curries? Like, what's going on? Here? But oh, yeah, unbelievable. that happened. So, that happened. And if you live in Tlatli, I can I can take you there. It's probably like a, a, a site of cultural significance now. You can go for a pilgrimage there if you want. I'll show you the wall. Believe, I can't believe so many parts of that story just involve... I'll take a photo by the wall for you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll yeah. do a video and I'll post yeah. it online and I'll, I'll talk you through yeah. it, like Crime yeah. Stopper style. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. running down here. Yeah. I was just running, I was just loving life and then for some reason I crossed the road, like an invisible <laughs> hand guided me across. And then this no... car hit the wall. I can't believe how it... It's like the episodes of um, when I was growing up, I used to watch uh, Casualty and it was brilliant because it used to always start in the same way, didn't it? It would start yeah. the episode and there'd be a guy driving a double-decker bus... Yeah. On the phone to his missus. I'll, I'll be home in an hour with absolutely no injuries to myself whatsoever. Yeah. I'll see you then, love. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Bam. Done. And it was like, oh, I saw that coming. So, yeah, the fact that this car, you crossed the road, you saw a car drive into a brick wall, it knocked some bricks off, but instantaneously. Yeah. Yeah. The chef ran yeah. out with a bucket of cement yeah. and fixed the wall. Fixed it. And Did a good job as well. More, Did a good job. What, what blows my mind even more? Tell me about said Toyota Corolla and the driver. What did they do? Just drove off. <laughs> Just like, thank you very much. See you later. Just drove off and got on with their day. It's like they got on with their day better than I did after that. And you I wasn't, you, I had nothing yeah, to you, do with me. Do you think they tell that story? One day I was driving down the road, I crashed into a brick wall, the chef came out and fixed no. it, and off I went. I reckon I they they're don't. like, one day I was driving my car and there was this guy running and shouting into a GoPro about an album. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, love that. So, any other random... That is such a brilliant story. Yeah. The hotel one, that is up there now with me, with um, the brick wall. The, That's, the yeah. Did, was he there? Did he Did he watch telly with you? And did you get to the bottom of... Was the Wi-Fi <laughs> really good? Did he watch telly with me? No, he didn't. No, he stayed in reception. I phoned under reception. I was like, do you want to just come up for a little cuddle? I mean, oh, <laughs> no, I, um, I, I kind of, yeah. Because it was early mornings, I didn't see him again then. It was like filming started super early, so I kept missing him. Not miss- filming going? Really good. <laughs> it was re- missing him. I'm pining <laughs> yeah, for him. <laughs> yeah. I was, <laughs> I was on set just thinking about him all day. Yeah. What was his name? I don't know. I don't you know. Do. I, I don't know his name. I don't know. I didn't ask him. I just asked him if he wanted something from the shop. I didn't. Don't ask you're him such, personal questions like "What's your name?" You're such a hussy. You don't know their name. You just buy them food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> buy him sweets and bread. <laughs> he. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So. Uh, what? How's filming going? Where Where else are we going? No, how's filming going? Filming, well, that film is finished now, so that was that's a film. I think I can tell you, yeah, it's called Bald, and that was that we finished that. 
So that's being edited now, and it was great. What channel is it going to be on? It's, um, no, it's going to be like shown at film festivals and stuff like that. And oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe it should get shown on TV. I think that would be good. Uh, mm. But it was. But not in the room you stayed in, obviously. Cause no. <laughs> It was very, a very arty and funny film, and I had a great time was making it? it. Yeah, it was really oh, good. Nice. It, it was really, it was bizarre because it's based on a comic, and on the last day of filming, the guy who created the comic was there, watching oh, really? us film in. So you're kind of like you're playing the character which this person has invented. Sorry, is it called bold or bold? Bold, as in no hair. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Okay, uh, I whilst I was away read Sharon Stone's autobiography. Oh, was it good? <sighs> no, no, no. I mean, it was in parts, but I tell you what upset me more than anything, Jimmy. I tell you what really, really upset me. She mentioned me in the book, and not you. No, not even that. I could live with that part. <laughs> um, so it was interesting throughout. So, uh, you know when you download books on Kindle? Yeah. Autobiography, you read the... If you buy... If you read an autobiography mm. in the flesh, halfway through you've got your pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That chunky bit where the pages are thicker and you, you know... I it, love... I love the pictures. You know they come in, like... Yeah. And I never skip ahead to the pictures because I want... I want to read and then it, I'll be like, oh, I wonder if that's a picture later oh, on. It's just happens. a little thing I've got. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, with other books, when you buy them on Kindle or other electronic readers, what they tend to do is put the pictures at the end of the book. Yeah. So you read it, and then they'll be right at the end. Okay. Yep. I'm not familiar with that this? format on the Kindle, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's the format. That's the format. Uh, so, like, Arsene Wenger's book, I read that. Mm. And then you read it all on the Kindle, and then you get to the end, and there's all the pages of photos at the end. Perfect. Brilliant. Great. Love it. Some... Sharon Stone. Uh, you And you want the pictures in that? Hmm? You yeah. know? I read it. She's a really... At parts, um, I found it very, very interesting. At parts, I was fascinated and blown away. And at parts, I wanted to know more. Mm. And I read it, and I read it, What do you mean? You read an autobiography and you want to know... Like, you want to fawn her, basically, and ask her more. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. There was definitely stuff I wanted to know more about. Yeah. Well, then I started... I watched Basic Instinct again after it. Interesting, yeah. Good Mm, film. Do you remember... Is it a good film, though, Jimmy? Probably not. I'm, it's I'm, not only as good as, I'm only in it for yeah. Michael Douglas. Yeah, yeah. So I thought, oh, I'm bang up for watching Basic Instinct again. It like mm. grossed £100 million. Pounds. It was brilliant. I watched it again yesterday. No? Mm. Really? Yeah. And what really blew my mind about Basic Instinct um, is it plays music all the way throughout. Oh, does it? Yeah. Are you sure didn't have the, the radio way. on or something? No, not, not all the way. <laughs> but So films used to do this in the 90s. When it was like a thriller, they'd be like, the music could play at the same time and you'd have people talking and music in the background. You forget this happened. Yeah. 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 You f- I bet you can't even remember that I, films used to do this. No, I can't think. Like, my wife watches a lot of BBC dramas now and it's always suspenseful music, always uh, through the episodes. Yeah. Anyway, basically, there was no photos at the end of the book. Wasn't it? No, I'm really it sorry. Really, I'm really, really annoyed me. I'm really, really annoyed me that you, as a grown man, didn't have any photos in your book. <laughs> you were reading. I wanted, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see Sharon Stone growing up. I wanted to see what she yeah. did like as a girl. I wanted to see her in those early years. You yeah, know, all the got, pictures you normally get. You got in Google a book. for that. Maybe they were like, "Don't know what." Just if you want to see her, just Google it. Just Google it. Yeah, but um, so I read her book, and I was, I was, I have to say, I was a bit disappointed. Oh, her. really? I read a really yeah. good interview with her. Actually, it was. Um, um, I can't remember where I read it, but fascinating, fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah really she had interesting. Major person. brain, major brain bleed. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, I, that's why I bought it because I also saw a really good interview. But um, mm. but yeah, but let me tell you about something else uh, that <laughs> happened. I told you it's all about me. Let me tell you about a dream that I had. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Go on then. Now, um, this what? was because we were meant to do this yesterday. Oh, <laughs> this I know. Podcast. I know. But, Jimmy, bag yeah. of rice. Yeah, yeah I know. Sorry, mate. You just let me know when you're free. Yeah, and I'll and I'll. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, so the oh. dream wasn't last night. It was the night before. Mm. So okay. my my memory's a bit sketchy on it now. <laughs> Essentially, um, <clears throat> I was doing a presentation or a talk to a room full of people, mm. and. Um, Harry Redknapp was there. Yeah. <laughs> well, look like. No, 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 the real Harry Redknapp. Now. It wasn't, um, though. It, was, it wasn't a real one because it was a dream. 
<laughs> yeah, Harry, Harry Redknapp um, uh, is a well-established football manager. Not everyone will know. Is he good? Um, anybody, no, actually, Harry Redknapp, best known for um, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, this is where it gets a little bit weird. So, <laughs> I welcome Harry Redknapp up onto the stage. Into your dream. Ha- in my dream and Harry Redknapp comes up onto the stage and he goes hello everybody I'm Ian Hurst and I go <laughs> I go no you're not you're Harry Redknapp and he goes oh gosh really sorry sorry I said your name because I've just been listening to your podcast and I just had your name in my mind wow and I was like wow that's wow. crazy so then the whole dream was that everyone in the audience was listening to this podcast wow. at the same time as listening to me talk wow now, now I've said this out loud it wasn't as interesting as it was when I had it, <laughs> it which is, I think which that, I think all dreams probably are like my my, um, my English teacher in school told me to stop writing about dreams in creative writing pieces because she said no one's interested in you and people talk about their dreams what yeah, yeah. It's funny, like, I was thinking about that today uh, on my run because I was listening to a couple of podcasts and the people on there were talking about the power of education yeah. and how some what some teachers said stays with you and others, you, I can't remember the classes. And yeah, I was yeah. thinking, that's really wild because I remember my English teacher and I remember little things like that. Like, yeah. she would say, um, there's no such... W- word as boring like you can't find things boring you're just uninterested so yeah. you have to find something which interests you about something that you would usually like not not care about yeah and little things like that yeah and that no one's interested in your dreams that's one of them that's a bit harsh isn't it well she was a she was a really harsh teacher and lots of people were scared of her but I loved yeah, her I loved her yeah Mrs Lancaster Mrs Lancaster I think that was her name did you have a crush on her no 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 she was um like uh, older a lot older so, so I don't know I don't know maybe I had like a power crush on her maybe I yeah. just I crushed on the power she had over the classroom did, did you ever have a, a crush on any teachers uh, no nah, not really no nah, really? just, just 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 too busy having crushes on girls in my class I remember having a crush on a teacher <laughs> did you yeah Miss, Miss Richardson that's my mum <laughs> not back to this so I must have been I was I was must have been year six so before I went into senior school yeah and she had blonde hair she had a <coughs> bosom blonde hair and bosom oh here we are that's, that'll do it for yeah. you that's yeah, what you're right me. Yeah. and um, uh, she was youngish I guess in my mind yeah um and I remember once she played the acoustic guitar for me. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's but cool. I also, I also now not sure if I just made that up. But that's how I remember it. And yeah. what broke my heart is then she started dating the geography teacher. Oh, no. They, not the geography teacher. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Devastating. Oh, I Miss Richardson. <laughs> I ne- no, I didn't. No, that never happened to me. No. Nah, it's mm. too busy, like, hanging out with my mates, just being a normal, well-balanced person psychologically. <laughs> not, not crushing on teachers, you freak. Not crushing on teachers, <laughs> you, no. Well, I don't you think weirdo. You in this. I don't think you've... I don't think you've. <laughs> so, listen, mate, um, uh, people, I'm sure, must have switched off by no, now. No, um, they love it, they love it. I feel like I've, I've just... A bundle of energy. Let's talk about the album. Yeah. Do we have to? Um... Yeah, we do, because, you know, if we don't do that, then who are we? If we yeah. don't stick to our core, Jimmy, then Come on. people aren't going to listen into to this. Um, Mudmouth was the album. That's um, the album title, isn't it? Yeah, Mudmouth. Is it Yellow Wolf? Yellow Wolf? How do you pronounce it? Yellow I was Wolf? Well, he was saying Yellow Wolf. Like, when Yellow he was saying, isn't it? He's, he's a rapper who said his name in his own songs a lot. He was like, Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf. Something it's like from 2021. It's a brand new album. Yeah. Um... Given to us to review. I right, but you're going to go first. Always your first. Yeah, always your first. Your three words. Oh, tell me first of all what you thought about the album. Where did you listen to it? Where were you when you listened to it? Brand uh, new album. Yeah, Yellow Wolf is his name. I just had a quick check then. Um, I listened to it <clears throat> running, and um, aesthetically and sonically, I found it very pleasing to run to. I mm-hmm. really enjoyed it, and it had. I think the whole album seems to be every song is in the same tempo. I can't tell. Like, <laughs> no, 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 not every song. <laughs> but right, yeah, one yeah. song isn't. Yeah, Can you yeah. name me that song uh, that isn't. Uh, something. 
some in Einstein, was it that one? Oh, I've got Rocket Your Window. Oh, yeah, yeah, Rocket Your Window. That's a slower one, yeah? I thought the album had turned off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd switched to a different album. Well, that's funny because... <laughs> I'm I'm really fussy with my hip hop, right? I, and I feel like who isn't Jimmy? Who I, isn't? No, this is true. But I think with hip hop, for me to really engage with it, I have to know a bit about the rapper. I have to know yeah. a bit about the because it's so yeah. autobiographical, autobiographical. Anyway, Auto-bi- so personal. You need to know yeah. the person. Like rock and roll, you don't really need to know someone when they're just playing riffs. So you have a good time. So yeah. and I I didn't know who this guy was. So I was running into it and I was just thinking. Right, don't, I'm not going to engage with the lyrics too much. I'm just going to listen to the music. And I was having a real good time. Yeah. And then I was thinking, see, this is the kind of album that's going to have a really rubbish slow song on it. There's going to be a point where a ballad comes and it's going to totally suck. And then that one rocks at your window. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, really good sudden shift in it when you realise he's talking about... I can't work out if he's talking about his mother or, or his brother who died. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. But the, the thing he was throwing rocks at was House in Heaven. And I was like, that's a nice yeah. little twist. Fair, yeah, fair uh, play uh, to you. Uh, uh, absolutely. It was um, It was a complete change of, of music, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolute change. Yeah, yeah. And you knew, like, you know hip-hop albums always have it. They always have this, like, ballad. And I'm always a bit nervous. If I'm enjoying one, I'm like, oh, please, like, oh, I'm dreading this, but I'm dreading the ballad and always come in <laughs> and it's going to, it's going to suck. But that was a good one. That was a good one, that. I did like it. it was I did like that Tastefully one. done, I'd say. Yeah, it did. I've got that. I've put a melodic, I've put a, <laughs> 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 a melodic diversion. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was all kind of like, Nicely melodic though, and yeah, it, yeah. it was. It yeah, was. it was. So let's get to your three words. Three words to describe the album. Uh, Go for it. Where did I write them? Oh, cartoon. It was very Ooh. cartoonish. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it was. It, yeah. Made, it made me. Although it was quite funny, where there's like one song where he hits out the people stereotyping trailer park people. Yeah. But then I just thought the whole album is a stereotype. So what, yeah, yeah, like, what yeah, you want yeah. about? But that <laughs> nice. At least, he, at least, <laughs> at least he's. <clears throat> kind of self-aware that he is a cartoon yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. Um, Do you fo- know when we started doing these reviews, we used to be really delicate, and now we just say... <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I think just, our audience demands the truth, though. They do, they do, and you've got to be truthful. Like, you know, yeah. you, you know, people people have come to us for hard-hitting music reviews. Mm. So, Tom Jones. He's my best mate now. Cartoon. Yep. So, cartoon. I'd cartoon. Say, uh, full Moon. It had like a. Yeah. F- I, I it was all. It was a very nighttime album, and. Oh yeah. Like a, I, it was definitely the kind of night where you had the full moon. Yeah. Um, okay, that's two words though. No, but I'm saying them really quick, so it's one word. Full moon. <laughs> <laughs> full moon. Full moon. Okay. Full moon. Uh, and um, meat. Just meat. It was meaty. Yeah, it was like a, it was if it was, it was a sonic equivalent of a can of meat. Some kind Spam? of. Spam. Something like spam or um, stag chili. Oh, it was like that. Okay, okay, I like that. Yeah, you just open it up and drop it out. Um, okay, yeah. interesting words there. Thank Me, you. Me. Full moon cartoon. Cartoon. Mm. Gary, like a Gary Larson cartoon. You know those Gary Larson ones, the Far Side Gallery. No. Oh, you you'd love them. I'll send you a link to some of those. Okay. It had that vibe. Um, mm. Sorry, I paused because somehow it says that you've just liked an Instagram post of mine whilst I'm talking to you. How did you do that? Me? Yeah. It wasn't me. Does someone else manage your social media? Yeah. Does it? Yeah, I don't do Shut it. Shut up. Yeah, secret's out. Oh, Jimmy, you posh bitch. Okay. No, the secret's out because um, I, 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 I don't know. I just feel better when I'm not always on social media, so I tend to not have my phone on me and I give it to people to do for me. But that's what just blew my mind. I'm talking to you and all of a sudden my other phone popped up saying that you like to post them. I'm like, you haven't moved from that's the That's my team. That's my team. <laughs> that's my team working for me. I give, I, give, I give my team a list of people like whose posts to like. Yeah. You're yeah. on there. I'm like, if, yeah. if Ian posts, please like it for yeah. me because I would like, like it if I saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's, the, that, that's the, the, the one about the talk in London we're doing, isn't it? I don't know, I didn't, I, I was talking to you, I didn't divulge Interesting. in the look, I just got my application. <laughs> yeah, right, well. Sorry for the silence there, guys, my mind just scrabbled, I was like, hang on, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, um, if, you send okay, me, I, if you send me a message on Twitter, it's probably not me replying. 
If you get a message from me on Twitter, it won't be for me because I don't use it. It's not me. So, it's not me. It's, it's my team. All right. Let me let me tell you what I've got going on. My words. <laughs> go on, lad. Um, I, well, before I tell my words, it was very outcasty, Phil. Oh I kept my thinking, god! Oh, yeah, big time, big I'm time. So outcast, and yeah. then a little bit of Snoop as well at some point. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was oh, very outcast. It made me miss outcast. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo-hoo. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you said Salmon Jackson. Then I was like, "What's Salmon Jackson?" Don't take the piss out of my accent. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. So my words then. Okay, let me go mm, for on, my first word. Yes, please. Uh, mm. Murky. A what? Murky. Oh, murky. murky. Yeah, yeah. Which like matches meat. your night. Mm, yes. Yeah, very, very murky. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also going to go for unity. Oh, yeah. It's very unifying. Now, the your reason bros. I, I like could imagine... Bros. Yeah, like an American football team underdog. If you watch one of those films, it's all about, you know, the underdogs and they're all into a bit of, you know, crime and then they come together and they're a bit of a, a yeah. misfit rugby, American football team and then before you know it, they've won the championship. Yeah. That album would be the soundtrack. Yeah, and you know what? In quite a lot of the album, I bought it and I was I, yeah. I, I was like, I get it and this is working, but that one song about being in a doghouse where there's like a skit of them in a bar before, yeah. I didn't yeah, buy yeah. that. No, it was a very well. Let me come on to my next that my next word. Very diverse. Yeah. Uh, although it was very similar, it was a bit well, like you were saying. It, it was diverse throughout the same time. So whether that's rock out your window, the outcasty bit, the snoop yeah. part in it. Yeah. I felt there was a whole load of different stuff going in yeah. there. Um, so yeah, diverse. Murky unity. I enjoyed running into it. I really did. I enjoyed listening to it. I got. I got to say that. I got. I'm. Well, I haven't got to say it, but I will say that for it. I really enjoyed it. But there's like I some listened, some bits I was like, eh, I didn't buy. Yeah, I listened to it at the gym, and a couple of times I had to rip my shirt off because I was so into it. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not allowed back at that gym now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, what would you give it out of ten? Uh, the album we've never done this before. What yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair enough. Um, I'd give it a seven. A solid seven. S- yeah. Yeah, me too. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a seven. I would just say that some of the skits lost at a point to get yeah. to an eight, and maybe like mix up a tempo. Maybe like something just a bit more upbeat than it would have. Um, yeah. Suited me a bit better. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this one. I don't think it's one of the albums that I'll go back to. Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah. Glad we agreed. This way we work so well. We agree. Yeah. We agree. Um, you mentioned there about the talk we're doing on the 16th of June. So uh, I posted on my personal page last night, and I'm sure we at Hummingbird will be posting it soon if people want to sign up to that. So mm. whilst we're face to face doing the talk around mental health and music, yeah. which we are, Jimmy, yeah. uh, people will be able to sign up to Eventbrite and watch it back as well. So. Woo! People can get involved. It's free. There's no reason why they can't. Um, so, yeah, absolutely watch this space. We'll make sure we put that link in it and share it so people can register for that. So it's due to be a good one. Me, you, Jumping Jack Frost. Yeah. Boom. What a team. What a team. Maybe a couple of others. John from We Are Birds coming as well. Carl can't make it. The, the, the man behind all the great work that we do, Carl, he can't make it. But two-thirds of We Are Hummingbird will be there. Yeah. And maybe another guest as well, which we can't announce just yet. But it's going to be a good little chat. Sharon Stone. Yeah, well, yeah. She's, she's going to turn up with the photos from her biography. Oh, I'd love that. I'd autobiography. Love mm. Autobiography, I'd love that. Um, but it'd be good just to hug you, man. Yeah, totally. I'm well up for a hug. I'm well up for a hug. I wonder if um, Harry Redknapp will be there. <laughs> that would be weird that would be, be so weird, weird. that would be, be very weird yeah be weird. It probably, dreams can come true it'll happen if I'm there it probably will. something weird will happen because I'm there you watch now oh, I know have you got Tom confirmed mm, no is he still not replying no he's yeah well I think have he's been busy ghosted? well I think he's he's been I've seen him doing stuff with um who's the body coach what's his what's the guy's name Joe Wicks yeah he's been doing stuff with Joe yeah. Wicks so I feel like he's you know He's just yeah. ditched me now for another personal trainer. Are you a personal trainer? Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a running coach. Running coach. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not really a running coach. I, I turn exercise into poetry and art. That's what I do. I make that well known on the plans as well. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to turn you into an Olympic athlete, but I'm going to turn you into a running artist. Oh, wow, I like that. You will find your own way to run. I love that. I love that. I know. That's beautiful. 
So, um, have you got anything else to share with me? I think we've covered off quite a lot. I kind of feel like I've burnt out. I, um, I'm such a ball of energy to start with. Uh, we've st- I, I, have you got anything more you want to add to this? I've been, I've been reading a lot. I've been reading a lot of good books. What have you been reading? Um, I recently finished As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner, a Southern American Gothic yeah. novel set in 1930 or something. Just nice. really good, really good, really challenging, tough read. Um, I've just read a book called The Employees by Olga Raven, which is yeah. nominated for the International Booker Prize, I think. Really oh good, God. very good read, interesting. Yeah. Um, I got absolutely terrified by a goose's tongue on my run this morning. I, <laughs> I, I, I ran, is that a book? Is that no, a book? No, no, I ran past... I ran past a little lake and a goose came at me and it was hissing and wow. I looked into its mouth and I saw the shape of its tongue and it really freaked me out. It was like a red pasta, like a red um, tortellini or something. I don't know, with a spiral what? one. It's horrific. Why, why did you stop? Why do you stop? Why do you look at the... I don't get why you do that. Because I was like, why are you so angry? I'm just jogging. And part of me just wanted to boot it in the face. But... I looked inside his beak as he was making. I have to just point out here that we don't endorse kicking any. No, we don't. But I endorse it. We together we don't. But I do on my own. (laughs) I don't know you anymore. If an animal comes up to you, just just you know, and it's being aggressive, just kick it. No, I don't. No, I didn't. I didn't mean that. But I looked into it. I looked into its mouth, and I was like, because I was thinking, what makes? How is you? How are you making that noise? Is it like a pasta shell? Not a shell. Pasta tube. Is that how it goes? It was like a, a straw. His tongue was yeah, like, a, how it must get their hiss, isn't like it? a straw it made like, out of meat and it was horrific. And then I kind of home. looked into it and I made eye contact with it and I was like, you win this time. Yeah, I'll run um, the other way. Do you know, um, uh, I don't want to divert, but funny you saying about the books you've been reading. You've kind of put me to shame there, haven't you? Because I've talked about reading Sharon Stone's book. Before mm. I read that, yeah. I read a brilliant book called The Thursday Murder Club. Oh, I've seen that. Is yeah, that Richard Osman? Uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. From Pointless. Yeah. Is it good? Oh, brilliant. I struggle with him because of the things he said about diabetes on Diabetes Day or something. He did like a limerick yeah. about being diabetic. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's like... Do you know when someone just does like a really bad... Not even a dad joke, like an uncle joke? Uh, yeah, most times when I speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, oh, man. I thought you were quite... Quite. I'm completely ambivalent to is that the right word completely yeah 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 the only time I've ever engaged with that man is reading his book and I've got no desire to engage was it good then horses. yeah yeah it was it was good I it might check good. that out yeah check it out I mean it's light hearted but you know there you go okay let's do our lyrics because I'm conscious we're, 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 we're going to put a rap in this sorry <clears throat> yeah I've given you loads of clues mm. do you know you? that no yeah. I've again again Right. I mean, I've, I very much hope that the listeners at home have been in stitches about the clues that you've had. In fact, one yeah. of them you've even said yourself back. Um, ah? Yeah? What? Um, so, should I give it to you one more time? I'll add a little, a little bit more um, uh, rhyme to it now. Yeah, put a bit <clears> more emotion <throat> into it, please. There are things that I regret, like being called a nervous wreck and working up another sweat for you. There's nothing that I can do. For counterparts and bleeding hearts and all the things that fall apart for you. I don't keep my secrets there. I hide them everywhere. I could deny, but I'd never realise that I'm just chasing rainbows. I'm just chasing... I'm just chasing... Is that Adele? <laughs> no, it's not Adele. <laughs> what, well, she what, wasn't even born then, probably, in what, what did I build this week? Shed, shed seven. Yeah, shed, shed seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh where my I, word! Where did I rank my shed? Seven. Oh. Yeah. What score did you give the album? Seven. <laughs> shed seven. Oh my word. Shed seven. Chasing rainbows. One of my all-time favourite songs ever. Well, the lyrics are rubbish. I'll They're give that brilliant. Miss. I could deny. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> awesome. So, um, I've enjoyed today's chat. Yes. I, feel a bit poop- I feel like I need a lie down now because uh, I've got just, we've spoke about Harry Redknapp, Rod Stewart, Portugal, having yeah. things stuck up your nose, hitting brick walls, buying stuff for the man at the hotel. We've done an album review. We have done lyrics. <laughs> Angry geese. Angry geese. Supermarket. Shampoo. Oh, my goodness me. What a wild ride. 
I don't know that anyone's ever going to come back and listen to this ever again. Click and too, subscribe. Too I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> I like. just enjoyed catching yeah. up, with my mate. I just like listen. I just like document in these chats. I know they're they're great. Can you imagine sixteenth of June, guys? Come and see us if you can. It'd be yeah. phenomenal. Um, I've loved it. Thank you so so much. As always, to Shaw, our sponsors, they're still there. They're still clinging on to us for dear life. Or are we clinging on to them? I think it could no. be that way around. Thanks for everyone for listening. As always, keep going. Uh, yeah. Comment, feedback. Jimmy's team will get back to you at some point. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> secrets out now the secrets out Jimmy doesn't um, even do social Jimmy's media team. social media guys all I have to say is thank you so much yeah. Jimmy yeah it's been good eh? thank you thank thanks, you thanks for having me mate no you, you you're part of this every week you're not a guest alright yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys peace out lots of love A town love you bye bye, bye. you lucky people have been listening to the Humming Punks podcast produced by myself Carl and sponsored by Shaw. Sure.